Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And it's here. So yes, we know that Alta Labs has software that you can run on your own uh, hardware, but they actually do have a hardware controller. And I have one right here. And it is the same uh, size format as their eight port switch. But the difference is this is running their uh, Alta Labs controller software. So you can see we've got a single Ethernet port. We've got a uh, reset button over here. And then on the back, USB-C power. And it does use the same uh, mounting apparatus that the 8-port switch um, uses. Now, this has an MSRP of 149 USDs. And the only thing that has to happen is that your Alta Labs devices need to be running the latest firmware. And if you've got devices and they're not bound to the cloud or to another uh, local controller, and you're not sure if they're on the latest firmware, what you can do is you can hold the reset button that's on the back. See that reset button? You can hold this reset button while you're powering it on, while you're plugging it in. Once you do that, and then the LED comes on, uh, you can let go after about a second, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to update the firmware on here, and it's going to be on the latest firmware. So I'm super excited about this. This brings Alta Labs, along with their software you know, option for a self-hosted controller, this really brings them back into the fold of vendors that, that we can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this stuff in the rack back there, uh, use the TP-Link router and all that. We'll just connect to it, and uh, we'll see what's up. So stay tuned. All right, so here is the first look at uh, the, the hardware controller. So I found the IP address, and we're going to go ahead and activate this. And it says, please wait here for your new controller to load. This may take several minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let this load, and we will be right back. All right, so this wants our Alta Labs uh, username and password. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to sign into this. And I think I've got MFA and all those things. So give me just a second to get signed in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I was wrong. I, I don't know that it was my actual Alta Labs username and password. So we're going to go ahead and um, create a new account and see, and maybe it's local to this, um, this controller. They sent this to me and uh, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, and, and try it out. So you and I, we are doing this together. So let me check this activation email and I'll be right back. And so that's what it was. So it actually creates the account on the device and then sends you an activation email. Uh, and so Alta is handling all of that, the logistics of email delivery, which is nice. The other thing to note is that the captive portal runs on each of their APs. So they do have a couple services we're going to get into it if you want to do hotspot portals they do have a couple of vendors who are specifically working with them for that so we'll get into that in another video all right so we are signed in i've got my access point back there i could put a switch on here if i wanted this is called home base so i can add a new site i can rename this site and instead of, let's call this uh, wh office We'll confirm that and we can set up this access point right now it says it's disconnected it says one or more devices out of date please cl click the icon next to each device um, so we're going to do it right now so apparently me pushing the button i didn't do it um, I don't think I did it correctly, and I didn't get the firmware updated. So uh, you'll have to check on that. So you're supposed to hold that reset button on the back until the LED 
flashes. Maybe I was supposed to hold it till it went solid. If you know, if you've done that, let me know down in the comments. So it looks like this thing is going to, to update. Um, so I'm going to let this update and we'll be right back. All right, so that did not take long. So now we've got this access point. This is going to be WH Lab access point. It is connected. We, you can see we've got our, our address. For some reason, not, we're not showing the IP, but that's, that's okay. All right, so here's our Wi-Fi setup. Auto, 20 megahertz, auto, 80 megahertz. Let's see. Oh, and there's our IP address. And you can see we're on channel 36. So let's do a settings. Let's see, management VLAN. So yeah, so this is just like, um, just like their cloud, but on this little device right back here. So I'm, um, I'm pretty happy with this. So we are going to start doing more Alta Labs uh, videos. I want to thank them for sending this over. I'll put a switch on it. And uh, we're going to start putting everything really through the paces now that we can run this device in-house. And then I don't have to mess with the software um, part of it. I would if somebody wanted it. But for me, it's much easier to have that device back there in the rack. So um, if you got questions about this, like I said, you and I, we went through this together. If you've got questions about this, let me know down in the comments. We're going to be doing more videos on this for sure. So uh, next video, we'll do some Alta Labs access point and switch configuration. And, and uh, I don't know that we'll get into performance testing, but we'll definitely get into the configurations and stuff like that. So if you've got questions about this, I know it is, for me, it's like, ah, it's like, Anytime that you can have that controller on site, and especially if it's a piece of hardware, it makes it that much better. So let me know down in the comments if you've got questions about this. Are you going to use this? Do you use their cloud? Do you use the installable software? If you're using Alta Labs, what is your preferred method? Let me know down in the comments. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com and uh, share your expertise, ask your questions, come create this community with us. Once again, I'm Willie. I'm so happy we have a hardware on-prem controller for Alta Labs because it gives us options. I'm Willie, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.